Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at a trace file that's going to reveal some network configuration issues. So let's jump right to it. First thing we did was, uh, or I did, was take this trace file and I shoved it through this neat little utility written by Drasper called Trace Wrangler. And even though it's an alpha version app, it still works pretty good. And it allowed me to change the IP addresses of the trace file so I can share the screen with you. Um, of course, it's alpha, so it's not 100% ready for prime time, but it's still good enough for what, we, uh, for what I need to do. So here we go. Got a trace file. Packet 1, we see a whole lot of stuff. This is a browser election. Well, I was trying to do a broadcast analysis to find out what things we can do to clean up this network. So one of the things that we see a lot of is spanning tree stuff, and we see a lot of ARPs, but the one that I spend a lot of time with is DHCP. The first thing about DHCP with Wireshark in particular is you need to know how to filter it. And the filter DHCP, you do not type DHCP. That's the first thing that throws people off. You type boot P. And when you do that, it all appears on the screen. And as soon as we did that, we re well, I noticed there's this DHCP NAC, N-A-K, negative acknowledgement. And that's not good, as you could well imagine. The standard DHCP process is a four-step process, and it's uh, discover, offer, request, acknowledge. And sometimes you'll see an inform. Uh, ironically enough, the easy way for me to remember that is my mother's name, Dora. And that is the DHCP process, Dora, D-O-R-A. Now you know. So in this case, we got a whole bunch of NACs coming out, and I started to investigate these to find out what these things were. So if I pick one of these, uh, and I want to check this one conversation, the problem with DHCP, it's broadcast-based. So it's pretty hard to filter on a client, per se, because sometimes you'll have the broadcast as the destination and the server as the source. Best way to do that is let's filter on this transaction ID. So I'm going to go to View, Pack of Details. And now in the bottom part of the screen, I'm going to select transaction ID, right click, apply as a filter, and select it. So now I've got just that conversation. I can see the request and a whole flurry of NACs coming back. And when you look inside this actual DHCP packet, you will see a relay agent IP address. And to make a long story extremely short, this one company uh, had, through network evolution, forgotten about some DHCP relay or helper commands within their switch slash router boxes. And whenever somebody would send out a DHCP request, not only would the DHCP server see it from the client, but it would get multiple copies of the request from these router slash switches, resulting in a flurry of NACs. In some cases, this was transparent, didn't matter. But in some other cases, like with phones, for example, they didn't like this, and they would just abandon trying to get an IP altogether. So there you go. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.